Hey everybody, FunshineX here. Welcome back to TF in Motion, Terra Firma Craft. It's a mod pack created by Grimcore. We are on his server. Uh, right now we got Landstrider and Escon as well. Um, I've been talking to them in, uh, in uh, voice, ch uh, voice chat, and uh, Esk is already into bronze, and uh, Landstrider is very close. So I think progression-wise we're keeping up, which is good because, you know, I haven't played this in so long. Um, but I've got a good supply of zinc ready to go, yeah, that, that's for sure. Um, almost pretty much out of copper though. You can see I have made some bronze tools. I just wanted to make sure I remembered how um, But we can go ahead and, and get going uh, making um, showing how to get it right now um, So the first thing first is well, let's look at the, the three different type types of bronze There is uh, bismuth bronze black bronze and bronze regular bronze I told you that regular bronze is the, the standard one you're familiar with, a mixture of copper and tin. And is it about 90% copper to 10% tin, more or less? So you're going to have to, if you use 100 units to make an ingot, it would be 90 units of copper, 10 units of tin, you'd be good, you'd make that, normal bronze. Um, tin is not as easy to find, it's a little more rare, and you've got to use a lot of copper in this recipe. If we look at bismuth bronze, on the other hand, it is 20% um, zinc, 20 to 30 actually, so you get about 25 is there, 50% bronze, and 10 to 20% bismuth. All three of these are relatively easy to find. They're pretty much in the top layer of a lot of layer, or a lot of different types of um, rock, and uh, you only need 50% copper. So if you do happen to be running low on copper, this is a much easier recipe to use than the other one. Um, so that's all nice. And then we've also got black bronze. And that is a mixture of silver and gold, which I don't seem to find much of. <laughs> I found a lot of gold, but I have never seen even seen a silver mine, I don't believe, or even an ingot on the ground, or a chipped piece of ground on the ground. So, yeah, we're probably not going to go with that one. We can do the other two recipes um, today, though. I'm probably going to focus on bismuth bronze. Um, from what S told me, he said that makes a faster pickaxe, while the normal bronze makes one with more durability. Um, you can see that this one that I did make here has a durability of 1329. That's pro that's over double what a copper pickaxe has. So we definitely like the bronze tools. Um, I also made a bronze pick, uh, prospector's pick and a bronze axe because those are lowering. I probably need a bronze shovel pretty quickly. And we might need to upgrade our weapon just so it does more damage. I don't know. Uh, first things first though, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. If you look at my health, <laughs> my fruit is way down, my vegetables and my grains and my dairy are all way low. Protein's the only one high because I've been eating pork, like constantly. <laughs> That's all I've been eating. So I need to start varying my diet. If you look at my hit points, my max is 757. It used to be closer to 1000. So just because of my, I'm, my eating habits, my health, max health is going way down. That's not good. Um, if we look at the time right now, we are in autumn, uh, the middle of autumn, and look at our skills, our prospecting skill is going way up, butchering as well, I've, I've killed like five pigs and that went way up, I don't know why, <laughs> it's so easy to level, um, but yeah, we get some good stuff there, and then, yeah, that's all I really need to show, uh, but let's take care of uh, the fruit, so we've got a fruit here, I harvested a fruit apple, I can eat some of that, that might help. Let's see if we eat fruit once. Does that really do much for us as far as health? Eh, went up a little bit. I think if I ate a good supply of apples, that would be fine. Um, our grain, we can fix that pretty easily. I harvested some oats. If you go around in the spring and summertime, um, you'll find these things growing all over the place. You just um, punch them and they'll drop their, their oats or whatever, their wheat and rye and all that kind of stuff, barley. Um, but we can't eat it really. I think we might get it a plain, but I wouldn't want to. Who <laughs> would want to eat raw oats? Um, if you put it in your crafting grid with a knife, you're going to get the oat grain. Obviously, take the grains out of that. Very good. I think it, I can't remember if it changes how many ounces you have or not. Uh, we look on uses on oat grain. It says we need a kern. Or, you know, that, that sounds right. A kern to make it down into flour. I just so happen to have a kern. <laughs> um, there's two pieces, and they were covered in a quest here. Um, da, 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 da. Where was this covered? Right here. So you need a kern base and a handstone. The kern base is made with any three smooth rocks. There might be specific types, but it's pretty random. You can use a lot of different ones. And then the grindstone. Uh, what's Top stone, what's the stupid thing called? Handstone. 
that is three regular stones, so you gotta get them without being smooth, and then a stick. All right, sorry about that slight distraction with my son there, but all is well now. Um, so that uh, grindstone or handstone again, we show how to make that. You Once you have it, put the kern base down, click on it, put the handstone in that top slot. Then we're gonna stick the oat grain in the left. It'll show up there, and we need to click on this tiny little handle here. Sometimes it's hard to click on, but there you go. It'll spin a couple times. Just have to click it once and then it'll turn into our oak flower. Still have 66 ounces, which is great. And now if we look at it, it says we need to take a bucket of water to get dough. Okay, let's grab our bucket, go fill it up. Actually, I can just fill it up right here. Got plenty of water in there. And combine it with that, and we've got our dough. <laughs> okay, next step is to cook it, right? Yeah, we gotta cook it. So that can be done in a fire pit or a grill. And it says the temperature we want is dark red. If we cook it too long, I think it'll burn. So be a little bit careful there. Um, let's get the fire starter. We need a log to put on the fire. There's a few zombies out. No skeletons. We should be okay. Take a hickory log here. Put that in there. And just start cooking that. All right. Put the dough in there. We'll watch it start heating up here. Oh, here come our friend zombies. Oh, they walked across the fire. That's not good, as if they die while they're on fire, uh, they have a chance to summon a uh, blaze. So you gotta be careful about that. But I just happen to live next to this pit. Oh no, I'm killing them with one shot. That's not good. <laughs> I wanted. To oh, they all took a little bit of damage from the fire. I like to bring them up here, and as soon as they walk by, I just punt them off. <laughs> Sparta style. Let's see if we can get this guy going. He didn't take any damage. Ready? Just wait, wait till he comes right along the edge. This is Sparta! Oh, it didn't work. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. I knocked a few down there. <laughs> but one of the one of the benefits of living next to a big hole in the ground. Um, oh, we gotta watch our bread. Hope we didn't burn it. Bread, how you doing? Oh no. Did we burn it? <laughs> cooked, cooked oak bread very dark. All right, well, we might have burned it a little bit. Um, we'll wait till it cools down. I don't think we can eat it until that little bar, the heat bar there goes down. Um, but yeah, I guess we like our toast dark. <laughs> I don't know if that affects how much um, nutrition we'll get out of it, but oh well. We'll have some grains to eat now. We can actually make, should we make a, uh, a work? Yeah, I think we should. We need first a... Um, Let's make it a K-Pok, a little purple wooden station here. And we're gonna put that down, and we're gonna take our knife and put that right there, just so it like, I don't know, turns it into this. If you just right click on it with a knife, it turns into this. And then, what do you do? Do you put your knife in here? I don't think you need to. Um, you can either make sandwiches or salads here. So it needs some salad bowls, which we have. Oh, it. It's not that anymore. Come on, there we go. So some salad bowls, and we need our bread, and then what are we gonna put on our bread? Um, let's have a, I think I have them in here. You can see these bread, or this pro, the cooked pork is really decaying. Um, you can't put it in the ceramic vessel. The vessel helps it not decay, um, but oh well. So let's have a red bell pepper and pork sandwich. Sound good to you guys? So put our pork there, red bell pepper there, and we hit create, and see now we got a sandwich. This is a seven out sandwich. It's made of those three ingredients. It shows you, but this is cool because this should give us our grain, our fruit, and our uh, protein at the same time. Or that's actually a vegetable. Is even better. Can we put an apple on the sandwich? <laughs> just I'm just curious. Oops. We can't. Oh no, we can't. Dang it. <laughs> okay, apple is not a valid. Thing. Oh, maybe it's just because we hadn't pulled the sandwich out. Oh, apple is valid. Oh, wow. Now we have four food ingredients in one sandwich. Really cool. And these are small. I think you just eat one of them. And you eat the whole thing. But that gave us a ton of nutrition. How did it do for our health? Uh, not so much. Um, yeah. So maybe... Maybe I want to focus on the one without... I know I do need the fruit. 
If I just keep creating them like this, do they stack? Oh, that used up all my pork really quick. Wow. Maybe there just wasn't a lot left? That seemed to eat it up fast, but since they're all the same, can I hit S and combine them? No, I cannot. Alright, so that's kind of a drawback of a sandwich, is you can't, uh, you know, have stored all in one slot. Is there, like, something like a lunchbox in this? No. Alright, oh well. Uh, so, let's get, that's, that's, so that'll be the end of the food for today. Um, let's get back to making, uh, bronze. Um, those ratios are sometimes, the, I mean, the tin one is easy because it's nine copper to one tin, but the bismuth one gets a little bit tricky, especially when you're working with ingredients like 15 units of copper and 15, or of bismuth, 15 tin, I don't know. It's just all weird. Um, so there is a tool that can help us with that. If we put any kind of gem, which you just get randomly when you mine, with, um, five piece, five planks, you get an alloy calculator. And I've never used this, but apparently you put it on the ground... And then you start putting stuff in it, and it'll tell us what it's going to make. So let's get out some bismuth, some tetrahedrate, which is copper, and some sphalerite, which is zinc, and put them in here. And see, it's going to say, I, I have no idea what that makes. We've got 37% bismuth, 37% copper, 25% zinc. Now, if we remember right, we needed about 50% copper, so we can take out some of this. And now we're a little bit better there. Now, let's get our uh, bismuth bronze ratio here again, which is 20 to 30 of zinc and 50 to 65 of copper. So our zinc is little, not quite high enough. There we go. And our... Bismuth. Seems like we're right. Oh man, I can't remember. 10 to 20 percent on zinc. So we're too high. No, oh gosh. <laughs> 20. We're too high on our bismuth. That's the one that's too high. So let's take that down a little bit. And there we go. See, so now I'm making bismuth bronze. Um, I would like to keep my copper as low as possible. So let me take out a little bit of copper. Okay, and we can probably put some more bismuth in now. Nope, we're too high in the bismuth. What if we put in more sphalerite? <laughs> this is, you can see how, it, how tricky it is, but we, yeah, we definitely have too much bismuth in here. Cool. All right, so maybe that's our ratio, maybe 15... 5, 15, and 10 of this particular thing will be perfect, so let's make out a few of those. 5, 5, oh, we don't have enough sphalerite in this form, but basically it's 100 units of sphalerite, um, and then whatever 15 times 15 is. Cool. All right, well, let's just make, we'll make 400 in units, that'll be 4 ingots, that'll be enough to get going. So you, you, and you. Put them in here. Okay, and I'm going to put my food back in there. It doesn't decay that fast, especially when it's, you know, like raw form. Once it's cooked, it decays a lot faster. All right, and let's cook that up. So we're going to get a pit kiln going here. And set that guy down in there. We need some straw. Not too much. Um, won't we have it? Won't have to do this for too much longer. We'll be progressing past this stage of using the pit kiln to cook our um, things after we get past bronze, or if, once we get enough bronze, anyway. All right, so let's let that cook, and I can show you that I did make the bronze because I found all that cassiterite. That's where all my bro uh, my copper's gone. Let's see, I've got tons of cassiterite here. Um, I made a bunch of bronze and got the bronze anvil, and that allows me now, even though I'm using a copper hammer, I can now make bronze tools because I'm in a bronze anvil. 
So we've progressed to the next level. I got a cool achievement for that. And I guess I don't really care where this goes. Can I put it like on top of a chest? No. Nope. All right. Where are you going right there? <laughs> this house is quickly running out of space and usefulness. So I think next episode will probably be when we start actually building a few buildings. You know, we need a house. We need a storage area. We need a kitchen. We need a uh, forge. You know, we need a bunch of different things. So we'll start building those. I think I might keep a few down here by the lake. Uh, but then I've got a nice flat area right here where these trees are, or the fruit trees are, um, to start harvesting that. Uh, speaking of fruit trees, if you come over here, and Wayla is like resets every time, so let me configure that again really quick. Just making it bigger. Hopefully you guys can see it now. If I look at a tree, you can see it says it's a red apple tree, and right under that it says it's autumn to late autumn is when it blooms, when it flat, when it fruits. We'll say that. So that was just right now. I just picked all the apples. Um, my peach tree says early to early, and I guess I must have missed that because when I came on it, it was there was nothing here. Um, this says late autumn to late autumn, so that should be any day now. We should get some oranges. And then the bananas were early on them as well, so those are gone. So, unfortunately, we missed two of our fruit trees this season. Um, I've got to catch the oranges. Just be watching it close the next couple days, and we'll see. All right, wait for you. You've got six hours left still. Um, all right, so we were going to talk about making tools, right? Did we show that? Alrighty guys, our thing has finished, so we can pull this out of here. We've got 400 units of bismuth bronze. Perfect. Alright, so let's get our molds, which are in the thing. Uh, one thing nice is to keep your ceramic molds in here so that if you ever accidentally cook these too hot and they turn liquid, normally you would lose them, but if you have your molds here, it'll catch the liquid in there. So that's why I keep that there. So we can now put that in there. It'll get us a bismuth bronze. And if we're quick to work this before it turns um, too solid again, we can actually not use the anvil. So let's try that. <laughs> I'm going to kind of create these a little bit staggered. You can see I don't want them all to be hitting solid form right at once. So I'll let this one cool a little bit, let this one cool a little bit. And then I'll create my next one. It'll stay molten inside the um, vessel for a little while. Eventually it will solidify, so we have to be a little bit careful. There we go. Put that one in there. So that one's yellow two stars, yellow four stars. As soon as this one hits yellow two, I guess we can go... Or as soon as this one hits yellow, maybe? I don't know still liquid at yellow check the wiki for temperatures of where things liquefy because they all every every metal has its own point when it does it all right but now we've got four units of bismuth bronze i think i'm going to make a, another pickaxe i'm going to make another shovel and i will make a scythe out of three of them i'm not sure what i'll do with the fourth yet um, but we're just waiting for this one now to get solid, which it is, so we can get that out of there right now. And you can see it says danger, that means it just barely turns solid. Can weld can work, so if we work it quick, we're good. Now what we do is we put it in here, we select what we want to build, so we want to build a pickaxe. And it'll tell us the last three things we need to do. So we hit them in the, well first we need to get this green bar all the way up here. So shrink it a little bit, once it's close, punch it. Alright, now you're going to do the last three things, so that's draw, bend, punch. So draw bend punch and that put it down here and we need to count how many times it takes to get back to the middle one two three four five oh not quite so we're a little bit off so it's going to be a, a more tricky recipe um let's try it again uh i need to do like something like oh do we get too hard dang it too solid <laughs> all right let's try this again with this one you might be able to do it Might be getting too hard here, but all right, this is oh, dang it, it's they're solidifying. <laughs> all right, fire up the anvil. So might as well get these out to form now. 
This one we might be able to get still. All right, shrink it again. All right, we're ready. So again, it's draw, bend, punch. I'm gonna try a bend. No, that was too much. A bend and then a light hit. No. Bend, light hit, punch will do it. So then I'll do a bend, light hit, punch again, and then do this feature. And there we go, perfect. <laughs> so basically the, the, the method is to get them to, the red and the green to line up. Then you do these three in reverse order. So the, the three from the orange to um, yellow, to orange to red. And then you try and get it back to lined up and you figure out exactly what it takes to get it lined up again. Once you figure out those steps, do the reverse order. Take the things that made it line up again to get it un unaligned, and then these three should put it back to aligned. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably show that again because it's it's hard to figure out. Um, oh, I forgot to light this. Dang it. <sighs> but we did get our pickaxe head, and now once these heat up again, I will make a shovel. Yeah, shovel's next. You can see that's a smithing bonus of 4.1. This one had a smithing bonus of 2.2. You can see the durability here was 1329. The durability here is 1250. So a little bit less durability, but it should be a faster speed from what I've been told. Hopefully it holds up. All right, let's get one of these workable again. One thing that sucks about this is you're like, you get one of them workable and you start working that and the others melt and then you're gonna unmelt, you know, it's just, yeah, it's a pain. <laughs> Let's put them down here. I don't know the difference between the different slots if one heats up faster or not, but we need to get them workable again. It takes a while. Getting close. Once a bismuth, or once a ingot has been worked it won't stack anymore so you need to be careful about that actually i don't know if they stack anyway um but it's gonna it's gonna remember all the things you did to it all right so this one is workable let's take this one out for just a sec while i work this one i like to get them up to the welding stage because that actually gives me plenty of time to work them as they cool down So it's bright red. I think as soon as we hit bright red star two, it'll go to welding. Oh, got an enderman around. <laughs> go nuts. All right, there we go. So let's try this again. This time we are making a scythe, or no, a shovel. There we go. And so we want to get it all the way up to here. And then right there. Okay. Now the um, it only needs two things. So we just need to hit it and punch it. So hit and punch. And we can see we're pretty close, but we're actually um, too far. So I'm actually going to bend it and then punch it twice. All right, now I need to do it in reverse order. So bend, punch it twice, then do these things. Uh, hit, punch. Oh, no, it just barely. Oh, man. All right, need to heat it up again. We'll heat these two. Oh, I hate when it does that. But we should be only, it should remember everything we did. We should just have to punch it real quick and be done. Oh no, I don't want these in there. What the, why do they go in my inventory? Alright, so let's put it in there and... Wait. Oh, I need to select the recipe. A shovel. I was like, wait a minute. And punch it. No, hit it. No, punch it. Why? Oh, dang it. That's why I get them to welding stage, because they cool down cool too quick. Try, trying to be all smart here and look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Keep screwing up. <laughs> I need to put another charcoal in there. They just, they cool so quickly. I was wondering if maybe it's because it's raining or we're in the autumn time, if they cool quicker. <laughs> if we like, we're working this thing in the summer, it would be fine. All right, shovel and punch it. Dang it. Oh crap, now I've screwed it up big time. Oh, I made it! <laughs> that wasn't even... Uh, I thought I'd screwed it up. Sometimes just hitting the patterns randomly works. Okay. Uh, we need to eat a sandwich because we are... struggling here. Alright, either of these two ready? 
I'm gonna set that into this tray for a minute. Wait till this one gets red. Give it two stars again, maybe. We're making a scythe. The scythe has been difficult for me to get perfected, but we'll give it a try. So put that in there, pick the scythe. Shrink it until it gets up to its about even. Oh, a little too high. There we go. Okay, we're matched. The things we need to do is bend, draw, and I found with a scythe it's better to do a medium hit. And then we'll punch it six, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do these again. Bend, draw, medium hit. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I've perfected that one now, I guess. All right, we've got one more ingot. What do we want to make with it? Um, let's see, so we've got uses on this. Pickaxe, shovel. What was that one, a hoe? I did not need a hoe. Hammer. We can look at our hammer and see how it's doing. I might just make another pickaxe, honestly. And these are all trap doors. Yeah, I think the pickaxe is the only other thing I want to make. Just have a backup once these two break. So let's do that one more time just to make sure everybody's understanding how this thing works. This is one of the more tricky things of TFC, and it, it puts off a lot of people because they're no they're used to just putting things in a crafting bench and then you've got your tool. Um, and this can, you know, if you if you don't figure it out, it can be very frustrating. Because you're like, all I want is a stupid tool. So we'll get it up into the weld stage, just so we have plenty of time. Lightning, huh? Alright. So back into here, put you in there, pick our tool that we want. Um, yeah, that one. And do we just need to punch it? No. <laughs> if, if only. Okay, they're matched up. We'll do these things. Draw, da, da, da. Try and get back three, one, two, three, da, ba, ba. Yeah. I think I'm an expert at this now. Sorry, the beginning of it was so frustrating, but hopefully you saw how to make uh, make tools. Um, wow, there's a crazy storm out here. I'm going to get inside before I get electrocuted. Uh, if you guys like that episode, hit that like button. You want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Next time, we're going to be showing off how to do the prospector's pick. Um, and then I'm also going to try and have enough bronze so that we can start making uh, the next tier. Um, which, if we look in early black blacksmithing, we can see we want bronze double sheets. And then it's going to get us into um, iron, basically. Uh, I can't remember what these bronze double sheets are for. Bronzel sheets are for... You need eight of them to do something. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Find out next episode. I'll remember in between. Catch you guys later. Bye.